Vietnamese Koreans. Seems like the Battle of Skirmishers. Crap in, we got another two hour game, eh? We've been came, playing kind of bad to, uh, to the pushes though. I don't know if even anyone remembers how that game even started. Uh, we got pushed really hard. And uh, yeah, I feel like... We gotta play a little bit better. I will say, I do have a little bit of an excuse though. I didn't have my mouse program open. So let me explain that. Basically, I have a program that lets me play at a certain DPI with certain settings. I mean, I don't have that open, I play at a different DPI. And it's so such a slight difference that I would just be misclicking and not even realizing why until I've just had enough. I was like, yeah, hey, I, I literally can't play. I'd be like, I'm just dying. Can't click anything. And I checked and I'm like, okay, that's why. Go ahead and uh, push in some deer, maybe. Let's go. I've adopted the MBL schedule. It just that when I have stuff to do in the day, I kind of resort to uh, streaming at night, you know? And it's pretty chill. I mean, if there's games, it's, it's a lot of fun, right? MBL, Heart, maybe Kapoch and ACCM come on as well. So there's a lot of good times. To be honest with you. I just think that the viewership is much better during the day. Usually, I mean, natural, there's, you know, much more uh, European audience and also the fact that I stream there very regularly. So that's kind of how I built myself up at that time zone. But the occasional nighttime streams are actually amazing, especially for my Australian audience. I love my Australian audience, but I feel like they never really get to catch me live. <laughs> uh, most of my Australian audience, you know, really appreciate this time zone. We for sure have a bunch in the chat right now. What time does Yo play? Yo plays at European time as well. But to be honest, he plays anytime. He's kind of a fiend. I'm also and it's the first time in like a year I've been able to watch live. Let's freaking go, man. It's good to have you here. Canadian West Coast audience? Yeah, yeah, the slam, uh, slam timers usually. All right, very nice. Slam time zone. Let's go, Hera. Yo, Mabe, thanks for 19 months, man. I really appreciate it. Hello, Big Conig. What's up, the man?
I'm gonna go for a stable opening. Kind of leads well into like the skirm situation, skirm setup, I'd imagine. He's gonna go skirm spear, I'm sure of it. Uh, so it could get a little dicey for me, but we'll see. I'm kind of eager for it as well. Two farms, sounds about right, then we can start preparing for a range ourselves. I realistically just want three scouts to look for some damage, and then after that we can switch off to something else. Uh, like, probably a range, we're gonna do a range, I think, back there. A little awkwardly placed, but I think if you really think about it, uh, it makes sense to have it further back. So you cannot scout it, as easily at least. This is nice though, this is very nice. Oh, I just realized, yeah, that's why it took so long to kill him. He has armor. Uh, but I think he's one hit now. This guy up there. He's a hero. I will sacrifice here, I think. Yeah, I'll sacrifice my scouts for kills for sure. Oh, this guy made it away. Wow. He made it out. I'll get my stuff organized a little bit better. Alright, nice. Yeah, my life against Gandhi is tomorrow at 15 GMT, my, my man, so I'll definitely see you guys there. Hopefully I'll be able to stream it. I think at this point I most likely just want to save up for a blacksmith. I, I killed two builds, which is solid. I don't even think I want to make any more scouts. I mean, I, I guess I could in theory, but my skirm should do pretty fine. I guess if I had a sieve that wasn't very proficient with skirmishers... I had like generic skirms and maybe I can justify adding in three more scouts and maybe I can even say it's necessary, but in this situation I feel like just the scrims alone would do just fine. I'm gonna scout there a little bit more. They have more HP and whatnot. He's got armor and he's got fletching, so I gotta be careful with that. I will continue to target the spears whenever I can as well. Hmm, <laughs> got him. Oh. I have to add in some scouts myself if he's gonna go scouts then. Is that his initial scout? Actually, I couldn't tell. No, his initial scout dies. So he's adding in scout. Like, clearly here. Another villain 1 HP. It's not his game. That's a pretty big mistake there.
Yeah, nice. Good enough. Well, I want to get Will Bright. I don't think it's too late. Let's squeeze it in. Let's squeeze it in. Uh, and now we're really scaling to a really heavy castleage. Oh, okay. He wants a tower. Um. Actually, that was actually very ineffective for me. I was thinking about Bloodlines, decided against it. I forget the faster castle time suited me better. I mean, all I have to do is kind of relocate those guys. Easier said than done, I suppose. I'll relocate the stone for now. And I think we're gonna go ahead and, uh... He kills my tower, but he actually takes quite a lot of damage there himself. Attack is gonna be nice. Town watch sounds good. You could wall it out though. When you wall it out, pretty good.
I believe the counter castle will be very, very nice here. I'd like it to actually be going forward right here. It would be like literally perfect. Uh, could also defensive castle. So if I, if this castle loses me the game, we know maybe defensive castle might have been better. Game is very very messy now. Towers there. We have the score lead, which is definitely a good sign. In games like this. If you don't really know what's going on, score lead could help quite a lot. So, so many defensive towers. Nice, and he went pikes, so that gives me probably the perfect opportunity to make skirms, which is kind of how I want to play this one out, anyways. And meanwhile, my knights are actually, or yeah, my knights are actually just hit that. Uh, I suspect moving this way, so although I want to heal my skirms, I probably don't have the time. And I'm going to save up for a second castle on defense now. Yeah, let me hit buildings with my castle here, and I'm going to break this just to run it in and out whenever. Let's get some outflows going. Okay, we're doing pretty well. It's super, super messy. He's going to go on that stone, I'm pretty certain of it. Elite Skirm is something that just makes so much sense here. Question is, do I make the second castle forward or do I... Yeah, yeah, yeah. We go forward again, actually. That's crazy. What a game. Two forward castles is actually the correct play. Just imagine a castle on this hill. It's just GG. Two Wrath and Archers. Actually, I never hurt anyone. Well, they did. And I'm going to hurt my opponent with it. Yeah, the towers are just so bad here. Uh... Just not doing a whole lot. And those knights constantly chipping away. It does add up. I actually want to send my wraths backwards. Yeah, that, that forward castle is going to be freaking, freaking sick. No, that tower that doesn't work. That, that's just such a perfect castle. I think going for a university in ballistics is like the perfect choice here as well. Let's raid with the Wrath and Archers. Game is still pretty close from what I can tell though. Uh, especially now that he's going to have a siege workshop here. I, I can lose. If the score is a thousand extra for me, usually I'd be like, okay, game's over. But usually. When that happens, uh, it's quite clear how I'm ahead, and not, nothing crazy will, will go wrong. But here, a lot can go wrong, so I kind of have to like continue grinding. Can't let off the gas at all. Still in the back's not bad, he already wants to make pikes, so... Alright, yeah, this is a bit tough. I think we have to abandon all this, which sucks, but that's all my farm. I don't see myself defending it. I think I just had a trade uh, basis with him. Uh, the knights going back doesn't really uh, make sense. I'm gonna just slowly abandon.
No, 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 no. Okay, we gotta heal those guys up. Damn, that's a bunch. Uh, okay. No, that's so sad. Oh, he killed his own Magnol, that's insane, wow. Every game has been so messy today. enough is enough here we gotta hmm maybe we can try something heroic here Good enough. Uh, this uh, brigade's turn now. I think he's just dead here. It's just a matter of time anyway. Now we're strong again. The thing about what he's doing is that he doesn't get map control permanently ever. Uh, he's actually... Just temporarily holding positions, which is... Not, not too impressive. And I think there's an angle to reclaim our base, I, although I think pushing in more might be that, uh, the better play. Got a siege workshop ourselves. And I still want his base. Which doesn't really belong to him at this point. Yeah, GG. Uh, we're just... The castles do too much here. In these kind of games, the castles are just doing too much. Look at his economy, it's all cramped. And he never really had economy back here. He, maybe he should have uh, added a town center there. Yeah, so definitely forward castle was the play. It kind of broke his game apart. Um, made it so... Like, he made the game messy for me. And then it... Um, you know, it kind of balanced out the situation. And when I went forward castle, boom. Now it's just a messy game for both of us. And I abandoned, like, what? Six, 18 farms. At least 18 farms. Maybe more. Um, so it was looking rough, but I managed to remake it eventually, and uh, he just never really got the chance. Everything's too tight. Again, tower pushes me off temporarily, but 
Cass has been holding the fort here for, for forever. No, I think the forward castle is perfect. 